today is the day that we officially phase in training into the regiment. So we're gonna be hitting the gym with my trainer today at 3 p.m. to get in our first workout, and I am super excited to get back into the gym. And I know like everybody says that. Everybody's always like, yeah, yeah, I'm super excited to get back in the gym. Got back into the gym for the first time today and like feel great. And like, if that was the truth, then most people would stay in the gym instead of fall out of it. But like, I, I swear to God, I, I really am excited to get back into the, into the gym because the main reason why I stopped training in the first place is because the gym that I was going to every single day was a mixed martial arts gym. And uh, we had basic weight equipment, but primarily the focus was on mixed martial arts, uh, you know, functional training in that way and a lot of cardio and stuff like that. And uh, we actually had to shut that gym down so uh, I had moved from that I got me a you know a gym membership uh, a month or so later at just a normal lifting facility and um, you know it I, I just didn't I, I did it had been so long since I had last like lifted seriously because I'd been so focused on MMA training for years that I just, I kind of just like forgot what to do and I didn't really have the direction. I didn't have a trainer at the time and you know, business started picking up and family started, you know, picking up and, and it just kind of overwhelmed me. So uh, that's how I kind of fell off track when it comes to the gym. But like, uh, I swear to God, I, I really am serious about getting back in there and excited to get back in there. And that's why, you know, I kind of hired uh, my trainer, Eddie. You guys will meet him today. Um, to you know kind of help me stay accountable help give me that direction not that i don't know what to do it's just that you know i've relied on my own discipline and this is kind of where that got me so i knew that i had to put some accountability measures in place to help me get to that goal so this is not new territory for me i've been here before you know i've gone through all of this shit before um but it's just the accountability of it all uh you know I, i've i've put this camera on uh, to record me, that's accountability. I've got a tribe of people behind me, that's accountability. My wife needs me to do this, my kids need me to do this. I never had these things in earlier years. Uh, and then I've also got my trainer, Eddie, uh, who has been through uh, some shit that relates to me, uh, who he, he helps hold me accountable, he's he's managing all my, you know, the the, the little meal planning aspects and, and all that kind of bullshit for me that I don't really have time for. He's helping kind of mitigate that for me and he's gonna hold me accountable in the gym and all that kind of stuff. So, um, let's get weighed in. Let's see where we're at. It's pretty cool to see all the results of how much weight is just melting off from nutritional changes alone. So, I'm really excited to see what the gym, how the gym, you know, speeds up the process because we're like we're losing like a pound or more a day just for nutritional changes alone 247.4 I'm gonna go eat some breakfast and go get ready for the day and then this evening we're gonna be hitting the gym so I'll try to give you guys some highlights of my workout maybe uh, maybe we'll do a little bit of Q&A uh, with Eddie on some live stream inside the tribe, I would say, uh, and I'll uh, you know let him say hi to you guys here on the vlog. So we'll see you at the gym. All right, guys. So what's up? We're here at the gym. This is my man Eddie. As you can see, he's a big motherfucker, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna just go through some light stuff today. Just kind of get the body warmed back up, so uh, so we don't cripple myself, and uh, you know. He'll probably film a little bit, but otherwise it's going to be relatively quiet. We'll hop on after the session and uh, maybe talk to you guys a little bit. Should legs be wider? No, you're perfect right there. Now this is making sure the squat movement is good is the foundation for pretty much all leg movements. Um, if your squat movement's good, it opens up the world of all the other leg exercises. If your squat movement's bad, you're kind of, you know, up the creek without a paddle. Try to push straight up inside your head. There you go. And you don't want to be flat footed, okay? You just push through the air. A little slower. Yeah, 
main thing with this is you see a lot of people, they'll lean back, and that's not necessarily wrong as long as you're not using it to heave. If you lean back and keep this position, that's okay. But what'll engage the muscles of the upper back a lot more is so this would just be kind of regular, right? Yeah. See that, that chest up posture? Uh -huh. Do that, pull down, just blow the chin, and you'll feel that squeeze between yeah. your shoulder blades. Just focus on the back and yes. Yeah, you feel that? 10 or 15? 15. Perfect. Good. So if I'm being honest with you guys, I've probably not been in the gym now for, I would say about a year. And prior to that, for about five to seven years, I would say my gym was a mixed martial arts gym. And it had a very high focus on just fight conditioning. And so needless to say, we didn't lift a lot of weights, right? And what workouts we did were mostly body weight workouts, a lot of cardio, things of that nature. And so prior to that, the last time that I lifted weights seriously and knew what I was doing and had a schedule and some consistency with it was back in high school. And even back then, I didn't commit to it long enough to get any real results or stick with it. Um, so needless to say, it has been a very long time, many years now, since I have seriously lifted weights. Um, and because of that, today's session, we, uh, we went at it really lightweight and basic uh, to get me kind of acclimated to the gym again. And uh, that way we didn't cripple me with soreness. So that's why everything today was super lightweight, super simple. And the first few sessions are probably gonna be the same way just to get my body acclimated back to the gym. And uh, once, we, once we start getting over the initial soreness and uh, all of that, we'll start bumping up the weight, bumping up the reps and mixing in different workouts and stuff, I'm sure. Uh, I've, I've tried to, I'm kinda like not trying to focus on it too much. That's why I hired my trainer. Uh, he knows what he's doing. I'm just putting all of my faith into his hands and I'm just gonna do what he says because, you know, again, in transparency, vulnerability, honesty, all that, all that good stuff, my way has not worked. While in my mind, I think I know what I need to do, almost to the point to where I can say that I know <laughs> what I need to do and I, I think that I do, but I always lacked the discipline to see it through and uh, that's why over the last few years I've been hell-bent on putting together accountability measures in place to prevent me from losing focus on the goal, to prevent me from falling off the wagon, so to speak. Uh, so vlogging is one of those accountability measures that I never had traditionally. Hiring a trainer to hold me accountable and help me with nutrition and help me with workouts, I never had that before. Having a tribe behind my back on every side is something that I never had before. So all of these things come into play and add to my ability to be accountable. So uh, Eddie came over after our training session today. We went live in the tribe and did a little Q and A for everybody. Uh, so that was fun. We also talked a little business. Me and him are gonna be working on a lot of awesome stuff for you guys. Training courses, fitness guides, nutrition plans, the, the works. We're gonna be working on a lot of awesome stuff together and I'm really excited to bring it to you. So, uh, that's about all I got for today, guys. Super excited to be back in the gym and getting results. That's the main thing, I'm, I'm getting results. I'm, you guys are witnessing this. I'm getting results, I see it, and it just keeps motivating me. And uh, the idea of producing a video at the end of all of this that uh, might inspire you or your friend or somebody else out there in the world to do the same, to just shut the fuck up and take action. Because again, to get from A to B, the only thing standing in that way is action. You can't talk your way there. You can't fucking complain your way there. You can't think your way there. You gotta act. All right guys, I will see you in the morning for the next weigh in and uh, tomorrow's Sunday. So we will also be getting in a body rotation. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Peace out.